blackleg is the most serious disease of canola in Australia. If you don't control blackleg, you can't grow canola like we saw in the early 1970s when canola first came to Australia, it completely wiped out the crop. There's been a lot of work done in management of the disease, so how to grow crops to avoid the disease, and in more recent times, there's been some fantastic fungicide options. So when you put those three things together, we can grow a really good healthy crop of canola now, which we couldn't do in the past. So basically starting with the GRDC investment, the first things we really looked at was the management of the disease. So we knew that black leg originates from canola stubble, but as rotations were tightening, we were worried that was really going to destroy the industry again. So there was a lot of work done on the epidemiology of the disease, how the disease moves from paddock to paddock and stubble to stubble. And that's really where we worked out the isolation from last year's canola stubble was really the key to managing the disease. 20 years ago, farmers were routinely taking 10, 20% yield losses to blackleg and most farmers just don't experience that these days. From a genetic perspective, there's been a lot of funding into breeding for resistance. So we've incorporated different resistance genes from different sources from overseas um, and finding new ones in Australia and related species. In more recent times, there's been big gains made in fungicides. So we've looked at how to use fungicides, when best to use them, and when to best get economic returns for fungicides. Because we know that fungicides always control disease, but disease doesn't always cause yield loss. So it's about economically knowing when to use these practices. Canola can't be grown without genetic resistance. So it's the funding that GRDC's put in over the long term which has really created the genetic resistance. So without that resistance, without that funding, there would be no canola industry today. It's about keeping up with the pathogen because the pathogen keeps evolving to overcome our resistance. So it's this co-evolution between the breeders and the pathogen to keep creating that resistance, recreating it, reselecting, bringing in new genetics. And it's been an incredible success story that we now have a $6 billion industry based on that resistance. Like everything else adds to that, like the fungicides and the management packages add to that, but it's really that genetic resistance that we can't do without.